Hello everybody, this is the Titanic Gamer Dude here and welcome back to chapter 3 on Resident Evil, on Let's Play Resident Evil 6 Jake's Campaign. This is going to be, you know, another guide on what to do. Now, these rivals are going to come in, but thankfully Jake kills off a lot of them. So what you want to do, since these guys have guns, you want to instantly run up and use your melee attacks on them. Or this one right here anyway. Yeah, you want to use your melee attacks on them. Because Jake's melee attacks are powerful. Very powerful. And I guess this scene right here just shows how powerful they really are. They are obscenely good. <clears throat> and one of them, <clears throat> more of them are going to come. But they can be easy fodder with your melee moves. And if you do that on their head, instant death. <laughs> The guys with the stun rods do a lot of damage, pretty much like their Resident Evil 4 counterparts, but on this difficulty, they'll leave you with one pip of health. They are very dangerous. Do not take them lightly. Jake doesn't have his weapons, but he has his melee moves, but he has his, yeah, his obscene martial arts, and, um, yeah, you want to just do this. <clears throat> okay. Easy fodder. <clears throat> just take some caution and just make sure you're you're very cautious with this. Yep, you can use this to duck behind. We'll use this to avoid enemies. So there's going to be a guy that's going to be going around. That's the guy. Whatever. How come this guy clearly doesn't see me? That's weird. There's another one. <laughs> Alright, one of them saw me. That's good. Oh, one sees you, they all see you. That's fine. <laughs> I'll just use my retardedly good melee skill to just down you. <laughs> uh oh, another one. That's not good. When multiple ones spot you, you want to run back. Ooh, almost got me. Alright. Get these guys off me. Let my stamina regenerate. Okay, here's one. Nope. Okay. Nice. Killed the guy with the gun. My only problem with his melee attacks is, um... <clears throat> Sometimes the targeting on it's a little weird. Sometimes you'll hit targets you don't intentionally want. But his melee attacks are good. They do a lot of damage to Juavo. And they can just down them quickly and just, yeah. Best part is, is you can dodge out of them. Which is just really, really good. It allows Jake to just do a lot of damage. And thankfully, you can just. <laughs> somewhat target them too. Only problem is that the last hit on his um melee move is really laggy. Other than that though, he's all right. It's not like super. It's not like flawless because every attack in this game has some type of flaw. But <laughs> these melee moves, for their own sake, are supposed to be good. And you can just do it over and over and over. Oh my gosh. I guess this just shows how much health they have on this difficulty. They have a lot of health and they can take quite a beating before they expire. And you just want to be careful. I managed to get through that, you know, with not too much trouble. So there's a puzzle over here that has to be done. And as I recall, something has to be moved. Yeah, that I think something over here has to be moved. Or I just go this way, right? Nope. <laughs> Haven't played this. Oh, there it is over there. Haven't played this game in a very long time. Oh, yeah, we pushed over here. Okay. <laughs> now I remember where to go. <clears throat> but this next part coming up on Chapter 3 is, again, like Chapter 2. But it's a little more action-y. There's a lot less running. It's... You have to fight Juavo in narrow places, and 
it can get pretty nasty at some of these parts, yeah. But you know what? It's not bullshit like Chapter 2. Because on Chapter 2, you have a smart, complete mutation that's chasing you. You can't really see it. And it's just a bunch of bullshit. Now, up here, there's a camera. We can use to shoot some drawable. Cameras are overpowered. So you can use them. Press the A button to switch. There, share. We can't see the code types in though. But here is the medallion. You can shoot it if you want to. The camera has a pretty wide radius. <laughs> All right. A. A, 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 A. Let's just kill you. <clears throat> Done. Nice. No, you don't. So now, Sherry's going to come over here. Camera's a little slow to move, though. And you want to look at the number she punches in by zooming in. I mean, not the numbers, but the signs, she, the symbols. So there's that, there's that, alright, alright, so now with that done, what is it now, it's, no, 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 it's, it's random every time too, so don't think you can just type in the, the same thing and get out, it's random every single time, it's randomly generated, so you don't know, it's one of the only parts in this game that has RNG. Notice, noticeable RNG anyway, and for all it's worth, this game really isn't about RNG, it's just about you and how fast you can act and then react to the situation. If you can adapt to the situations in this game quickly enough, if you know what the game is going to do to you, then you should be alright. It's just that as difficulty goes up, you are punished for your mistakes a lot harsher. You're like the degree of skill needed increases, and every time you make a mistake, you get punished for it severely on the harder difficulties, or especially on No Hope. No Hope is just brutal. But this is the part we're going to need to <clears throat> get these umbrella coins, these umbrella, these coins that have, they just look like the umbrella symbol, and we need about ten of them, I think, for the first part. I think five more for the next. There's going to be Juavo with guns primarily, and some of some machetes and melee weapons. And these guys have quite a high chance of mutating. And that's what makes them so annoying. They just love to mutate. And these guys are somewhat aggressive. Yeah, there's the first one. You want to use this as cover. Again, you want to take your time. There we go. Slide at him, the stone him, hit him. There we go. Gosh, that guy hasn't died yet. <laughs> See, these drawbles are so durable on this difficulty. <laughs> they just do not know when to give up. That is why they are such worthy adversaries. They are quite powerful. Oh, that guy just instantly mutated. See, they just love to mutate. Uh-oh, out of sniper bullets. Alright, that facetious material. Just die. Uh -oh. Alright, let me get out of the gas. That gas is very annoying. That guy's still shooting. So I'm just going to wait for you to pop your head up. Come on. Mutated. Uh-oh. That could potentially be bad. Alright, let's get rid of this guy. Done. What hatches out of these primarily are strelats, and they can be managed quite easily, but for all intents and purposes, you might want to kill it off. Alright, it should be coming up here about now. Yes, here we are. Oh no, the gas, no! 
don't want to let this thing get away because it starts shooting at you and just annoying the crap out of you. Alright. Shoot it. There we go. Done. They don't have as much health as the other complete mutations, but do not underestimate them. They are fast, they're agile, they can be hard to hit because they like to move, and in general, they are pretty dangerous. Okay, done. Done. Uh, done. <clears throat> Using the Magnum, okay. Oh, this guy mutated into something much worse. No, you don't. Done. Finally, you die. Alright. Maybe the glass will protect me from some of the shots. Done. Like dinner. Slide into you. Shoot you in your face. Kick you in your face. The checkpoints on this part, though, are pretty good for the most part. They're not too bullshit. Now what you want to do is, there's going to be some rooms up here, and you can go into these rooms any way you want, and some of these guys have the fucking, um, coins. And I'm not sure if it's random. I think it is. It might just be. No, you don't. Die. <laughs> Thankfully, your shotgun does quite a bit of work on these guys up close. Now, no, you don't. Good night. Sorry, buddy. No, no. No, 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 no. Good night. More of them are going to keep spawning, too. So, okay, one of the guys down here that died had the coin. And, or not. That was just me being completely dumb and stupid. One of these guys should have the coin, but for now, I am just going to go to another room. This room open? Yeah, it should. Okay, this is like a scavenger, and it's basically like a better modified chapter two. There are some parts on this that can be brutal, though, so do take note. Alright, there it is, an ID metal. It's a metal? I thought it was... It looks so much like a coin. <laughs> totally my mistake. Alright, well, since that didn't go as planned, I am just going to run over here. Get behind this. Reload my sniper. Oh, these guys. Damn it. Shit. Alright. You just die, buddy. You hear me? You just die. Alright, let me get out of the way. I'm losing health. No, you don't. No, you don't. One, two, three. One of these guys should mutate, though. And that almost always happens. Yeah, there we go. That's the guy that loves the mutate. That's the guy we all know and love. <laughs> Little pest. And no, just die. No, stop your shooting. Get out of my face. Oh, mutated. Oh, that's the worst feeling ever. They just keep mutating and just make things worse for you. So very annoying. Alright, that thing should have hatched. Uh, whatever. I'm trying to get the skill points, but I can't. No, you don't. Oh, fuck that acid. See how quick that acid activates? That acid is so quick. It just seriously just saps your health. And yeah, as you can see, the Strelaf does not like martial arts. And that's how you do that. But it's still not dead. But now it is dead. Strelats do not like martial arts. That's where they falter up close. 
Up close, they are very, very weak. At a distance, they are fairly strong. You want to keep them up close. So don't go over there just yet. You want to go here. If I can put the dem... Oh, fuck. One of these guys is going to mutate. Because I know exactly how this is. One of these guys is going to mutate. One of these guys is going to mutate. Stop shooting! Fuck, this is inevitable. Let me get behind this. That really sucks. But thankfully, it should only be a strat and nothing more. So now let me put the coins in or, or the medals while it hatches. Alright, you are a nuisance because you love to just run around and cause trouble. So, how about I just shoot you with my magnum? No. <sighs> Finally, you die. <laughs> very, very annoying enemy. Put one in, another in, checkpoint, checkpoint, checkpoint. The head turns, that moves out of the way. And now to go up there. Alright, I have two pips. This part coming up can be brutal. It can be very brutal. Depending on what room you go into, things are going to get very nasty. Very quickly. But, herb right there. Always get it. Pick up this ID. Get out of here. Do not go into that room yet. There's a song that has to be played. And it's on the piano. And she's the only one that can play it. Come over here. Get this ID. There should be a red herb in here. I'm saving space for it. It should be in one of these. It's on the other side, though. Why do I do that if it's on the other side? Well, there should be a metal right there. I got it. Get up under this. We'll get from under this. Go up here. It's in one of these. And it should be in this one. Yes, there it is. Combined it. Shoot this full. Do I want to shoot? Do I want to kill that guy? No, I do not. So what you want to do after that is you want to run up here. Wait a minute. It should be around here somewhere. Oh, it's over there. <laughs> that was pretty stupid of me. You want to run up here, and you want to move this. This can get you back up into one of the rooms. There we go. Open the door. Get the metal ID, or the ID metal. We have four. Now to go into the dreadful piano room. There's going to be a bunch of... There's going to be a bunch of enemies in that room. And they are not nice. So before I go up there, I'm going to get rid of... Or not. You're just going to scurry away. The straw is very dangerous when your back is turned. So let me get out of that narrow passageway. Where's my partner at? Alright. She's fairly close. <clears throat> I'm just going to go on ahead and pop these in to make getting the last one less of a pain. Because you can get hit when doing this. Very, very unfortunate. Alright. Come over here. One, two, or just one. This room is absolute bullshit. There's enemies in here waiting for you. They have guns. And they are aggressive. Now, this is the part that kicks everybody's ass. During the startup frames of getting on this computer, you are completely vulnerable. Completely. You can be shot down like a dog. I made this part look fairly easy, but trust me, there are some parts to this that can kick your ass. And in a few more, in like a minute or so, there's going to be a part that is just going to be like, what the fuck just happened? So I'm going to put that in. 
or at melee weapons. No, fuck. And then you appear at the worst possible moment. See, that is why Strelax is annoying. You take your eyes off of them, you end up getting put in dying status. Or in a dying fit. That is why the Strelax is annoying. It literally appeared at the worst part. And now, I have to collect the IDs. Over. <laughs> so if you die, it's completely on you. But thankfully, you come over here, mandatory herb. So now I gotta start over a little bit. Don't worry, this part pales in comparison to the next part. If you're Sherry, at least. If you're Jake, you don't have to deal with a lot of the bullshit. Because with Sherry, there's a part where Jake has to aim part of a tank at this pole so we can align it so we can jump across to get on the motorcycle. That is when the bullshit starts with Jake because there's a ton of enemies in a small and close space and they can just wreck you very quickly. But Sherry has to endure an onslaught of mutating Juavo. And that part, I feel, is total garbage. No one should have to endure that much garbage. Especially on No Hope difficulty, where enemies can completely level you very quickly. A simple attack from a machete can lead to half your health being gone. Pick up the ID, get out. Thankfully, Sherry keeps them busy. Your partner should be able to keep some of the enemies busy and done. Anything in here, you never know. Alright, I picked it up. And now I'm going to go back here and see what I forgot. Alright, I forgot a medallion. A medallion, really. I forgot a medal all the way back here. It's fine though, I'm not I'm not too irritated about this. Okay, I have to be super close to pick it up. Now we should be able to get out of here. Wait. The cursed piano room. No 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 no. There we go. The Jawavel will follow you too. Oh no. Let me come in here so they won't shoot me. Uh oh, there's guys in here too. Uh Curse these respawning enemies. There we go. Just stop the people from shooting at you. And then run. <laughs> you really want to run. Because these guys are a nuisance. Like I said, it's a better designed Chapter 2. Chapter 2 is bullshit. The beginning part of it anyway. Plenty of enemies. Me sets are too smart. Hard to see the missets. If they swoop you up, they take off a crap ton of your health. They hurt like hell. And the slide is bullshit. The slide is total bullshit. <laughs> that icy heel is bullshit. I call it the slide. I should call it the icy slide of doom. Because that's exactly a more befitting name. It is total bullshit. You will get wrecked if you are not careful. So... There they are. There's the guys at the top. I hope they wouldn't be here, but they are. So now, kill you. Hope I can get on the piano before they can shoot me. Come on. Good. Thankfully, Sherry's keeping them busy. <laughs> I just got shocked there, but I, and I took damage. Well, excuse me. Alright. Let me get the fuck out of here. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. I tried to get out and heal. Oh, you be there as fast as you can. Come on, Sherry. Please. Sherry. Damn it. No. No, Sherry. Come on, Sherry. No. <laughs> Come on. You can get me out. All I have to do is heal. All I got to do is heal. Okay. I'm healed. I'm going around just to be safe. That was a close call. Oh my gosh, these enemies are so bullshit. Oh. 
and that's why Java are such well designed enemies. They are supposed to be bullshit. They give the game a lot of flavor. You shoot them, you end up worsening the situation situation. They turn to complete mutations, ends up severely worsening the situation. They come out at the worst times. I'm not interested in that guy. The Strelax is easy to stun up close. You can either use that time to get rid of them completely or run from them. Now, after this is put in, after you get 10, because 10 is the magic number, this opens up. It's another one of those annoying B doors up here. It's in a pretty narrow space, too. So make sure your partner's next to you. Don't just go waiting for her in here all by your lonesome. There could be some fucking enemies that can come in here and keep you company. Be careful. Another one of these annoying B doors can be the pain of your the bane of your existence. This cutscene activates. You're safe from all harm. As you can see there, then after that a cutscene ensures in which Sherry will contact somebody to come save her. Not happening. And then a bullshit kind of random part's actually gonna happen where a tank is going to come in through the door and destroy everything. If you get too close to this tank, you're gonna get run over and instantly killed. If it shoots you, you're put in dying status on this difficulty. Always. It's quite bullshit. And you deal with mutating Dravo as well. Thankfully, the enemies are gone and they pacify for now. And then they appear out of nowhere. And then that guy comes through the window. I shoot that guy to stop him from shooting me. And then I kill him with my gun. He mutates. Isn't that just lovely? How the enemies in this game just love to just mutate and just show you how to be a fucking... Oh, no! The Berserker Head! And that is where things go to shit is here. Because this tank is going to aim at you and it is going to attempt to fire. And this fucking guy... Alright. It blew that up as you can clearly see. Oh god, no, I thought you died. As you can see, berserker heads are incredibly dangerous. All they do is run around causing mayhem. And they do not stop until whatever it is thereafter is dead. And as you can see, I'm having excessive difficulties getting up in one piece. Now that I stunned him with my gun, I'm just going to finish him off. Jake, jump across here. And there's more enemies. Thankfully, when you catch the Jawabo reloading or when they stop shooting, that is your chance to just unload. When they mutate, use it to your advantage. Oh, there's a Jawabo there. Oh, damn it. But yeah, when the Jawabo are reloading, know their reloading habits, know when they stop shooting, and take advantage of that. The Jawabo are very intelligent enemies in this game. And although they kind of lose their intelligence when they mutate and when the complete mutation happens, they are dangerous. So now I know a guy is going to run down the stairs. I'm just going to shoot him. Now as you can see, these guys are highly aggressive now. They are shooting me from a distance and there's little to nothing I can really do about that except get on my back and that's how the Drava work they are very relentless oh no the berserker hand no that is the worst combo when it gets this sickle like arm and the berserker head that is one of the most dangerous combos ever because that arm has a shit ton of range. The hitbox on that arm is massive. And you want to get rid of those guys. You want to prioritize those guys over almost everything else. Alright. Let's just kill you. Berserker head. How about... Fuck, I have to reload my magnum. No. Okay. Sherry killed it. Those things are dangerous. There is an event in which you can kill it off with a with a, a hasty quick time event, but 
it, it's too risky. That includes having to hit it, having to get its hand when it's attacking you. But I'm not dealing with that. I'm hopping across here. I still have decent health. I'm gonna use two herbs. Oh, fuck! I missed. And as you can see, oh god, these draw. Oh no! Easily pelt your health away. All right, shoot ya. Your back is turned. Knock you down. No, I'm kind of busy right now, Sherry. But this bastard has to die. Yeah, you have to actually go back as Jake and get Sherry. And as you can see, that tank will shoot at you, and it can get lucky. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <gasps> Fuck you, Berserker head. Fuck you so much. Get the fuck out of here. Run to the door. It's another annoying B door. Just to make your life slightly harder when you go through. But when you go through, you're safe. Don't worry. You're alright. But you're only alright for a little bit. This tank is going to chase you. If you mess up, you're going to get run over. And you have to look at where it is aiming and then dodge accordingly. If not, you are going to die. And if you don't quickly run to the left, dead. No questions asked. Thankfully, this chapter is short. But it can be brutal with all the enemies and all the bullshit. It's not over, though. This tank is going to come barging in through here. If you're too close, you will get run over. Trust me. You will get run over if you are too close. There's going to be Drabo blocking the stairs. You have to roll past one of them. Thankfully, he has a weapon. And then after that, it's just all you and your skill and your wits. This part is brutal for Sherry players because Sherry players have to deal with a shit ton of Drabo by yourself. Which means if you get put in dying status, you're likely dead. There are no second tries. And here, I have to go over there with Jake and get the motorcycle. I have to lure this tank over here without getting hit. Because if I do, I'm likely going to die. It's going to aim at me. I'm going to move over. Let's see, move the, move the statue. And the camera angle is a little limited, but don't let that get you down. You want to be keeping your eyes on the tank. Because if this tank it gets you and hits you, you are going to get fucked. And that's what you need it to do. You need it. You need to get the tank to move the statue. Now, when you're over, you want to kind of stay in the middle a little bit so you can keep your eye on the tank. Because the camera is hard to manipulate during this. No, it's like almost impossible to manipulate, actually. It's going to go over there. It's going to shoot Sherry. And Sherry has to worry about the Juavo and the tank. And that is total bullshit. And I know this part seems somewhat short. But trust me. This part is one of the most brutal in Jake's campaign. It is so brutal. And you can die so quickly if you're Sherry. Let me get some distance because I don't trust that. And bullets can be shot at you. While you're here, now that it's done, I'm going to press the A button. I don't know why I didn't do that earlier. That was pretty stupid by me. <laughs> Jake's going to jump across here. Now, this is the part that's bullshit. As you can see, I just got shot at. There's a ton of enemies in here. And there's even some ammo. But I'm just going to keep this short and sweet. I'm going to get on the motorcycle. And end chapter 3. I don't want to risk the Juavel getting to me. I got a B. My accuracy was a little on point. My clear time was awesome. But as you can see, chapter 3 can be a little brutal. But thankfully, I think it's better designed than chapter 2. Because chapter 2 is... You have the elements working against you. You have the environment working against you with ice mechanics and a key part of the level... Chapter 3 
is all on you and all on what you want to do. And depending on what you want to do with the enemies, it can come back to bite you in the ass or you're going to have somewhat of a good breeze. But that is chapter 3, ladies and gentlemen.